Wait, don't go. I'd like to share my thoughts with you. I'm an artist, so I talk about art, but this is probably applicable to anything you are passionate about. I wonder if you can relate. It's about how it feels to be an artist sometimes. People look at you and judge you. They think, if you were actually a good artist, you wouldn't be talking to them. You would be famous. You wouldn't be working in an office. You wouldn't be shopping a little. You wouldn't be their neighbor. You wouldn't look like you look. You wouldn't look like you do. They judge you before they have even seen your art. They believe you'll be slightly shite at it. What they consider an amateur, a hobbyist, their words, not mine. So you only need to say the words, I draw, I paint, I'm an artist, and they have already painted a picture that you're not very good at it. They will say, oh, it's nice to have a hobby. It's good to keep yourself busy. Oh, it must be relaxing. And we know these words mean, we think you're probably shite. And most of us are happy with that. But then if you show them your art is actually phenomenal, they will be pissed off with you. Because they will think, you should be shite. Why aren't you famous? I've just demeaned you, condescended you and patronized you. And that is your own fault. Because someone with your skill level shouldn't be talking to me. And they will be pissed off with you. Because they'll be embarrassed by themselves. They might even show that embarrassment by dissing your art. They'll say, mm, that's nice, but it's not my cup of tea. You'll get this a lot. It will even put you off ever telling anyone you're an artist. And it hurts us. But why does it hurt? Because most artists draw not for validation, but because creativity is a natural thing for us. As kids, we didn't pick up crayons and draw because we wanted to be validated. We did it because we liked doing it. It was adults that decided art should be validated. They decided one picture deserved to be up on the fridge and the other in the bin. The drive to create, the spark of creativity, was not for validation, but we were taught that's all it was about. This obsession with validation, which is inflicted upon us, causes so many artists to suffer terrible depression. This is the hardest thing for me to say to you, but you will be famous or you won't be famous. You will make a living from it or you won't. Facts. You are never going to be famous if you don't show anybody your art and you're never going to make a living from it. But, big but, if you never showed anyone your art, does that make it bad? No. If you create the most phenomenal artwork and you never showed it to anybody, is it no longer phenomenal? No, it's still phenomenal. If you never ever sold your art, does that mean it has no value? No, it's still incredibly valuable. You just haven't sold it. What if you thought about your art like you're making a fabulous pie? I'm perfectly happy creating pies for my own consumption and I could not care less if nobody else in the world tastes them or likes them. I know what I like and I make them because I like them. Can you imagine if every time you cooked a meal for yourself, someone was always over your shoulder telling you how they thought it should taste, telling you how you should change it or how things should be improved? You'd very quickly tell them to get the fuck out of your kitchen and it's none of their goddamn business. What you like to eat. Like someone telling you how to make a sandwich to their taste and you are in the middle of making a salad. You can say, I like making salads and pies, but I have no desire to cook like a five-star Michelin. So think of your art like that. Your creativity is natural to you. Your drive to create is natural. It's just like everyone else's desire to eat or drink. And when people think they have a right to criticize your art and validate or invalidate it, take it literally with a pinch of salt. If someone loves your pies and begs you to make them for them, and they become a delicacy, very valuable, worth their weight in gold. Be happy for the people who enjoy the taste too. But if no one else likes the taste, so what? You do. And in the end, that's all that matters. Draw art because you love the taste of it, because it's your cup of tea. You don't actually need to share it with anybody. Other people's opinions do not matter. 
The worth of what you create is not in their eyes. It's in your own. Share it. Promote it. To connect with others who might find themselves in your art. As it could be completely to their taste. But don't look for validation. If no one ever looks at it, no one ever likes it, know that it's there for you to look at if you ever need it. Your content, your art, is there for your consumption first. Do it for you. And remember the joy and happiness and contentment you felt, or even the struggle or the journey you were on during the art's creation. Social media is a wonderful tool for artists to use to be able to keep a record of our art and our journey. It can help us as long as we see likes and shares as a connection and not a validation.